Smoke salmon. You mean Maltese place? I did, no reply. I'm getting worried. Where has he got to? I don't know. And I couldn't care less. But he's got the hundred pounds of mine in his pocket. Excuse me? Well, what do you know if it isn't Trixie? Hello, Gina. I'm looking for Monty. Meet a fellow traveller, Turk McNeil. What's all this in aid of? Trixie's Monty's new girlfriend. What have you done with him? Nothing. I can't find him. Did they expect to meet him here? Yes, he dated me for eight o'clock. Well, you're not the first girl Monty stood up and you probably won't be the last. It's very worrying. I'm so hungry. Oh, that won't do, baby. Sit down here. You can have a little chat. You can't have that on an empty stomach. That's right. I might even get the rumbles. Yeah. What would you like, smoked salmon or soup? Oh, soup, please. Same as yours. I have it in the salmon midday. No tomato soup and bring me some more. Now, baby. Spill it. Gina, do you mind if I speak to him quite open? Tell him the story of your life. Well, you see, it's like this. I got to know Monty at the panel, and last week he said to me, I'm so lonely, I'm on my own. I've never known the reason why. But all the boys make tracks, then leave me high. When I confess, I'm never ever dated. There's so little I can do all by myself. There's so much I lack, don't you? And that's where all the posh people go. All to myself. There's no future in romance. All by myself. I'd stop feeling sad and being slowly driven mad if only Alan were my lad. And all to myself. I just want what guys have got, but all, all to myself. It's quite true. I never know what to do all by myself. And Monty never called you up or sent a message? No. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. That's what I say. It's not right. I'm a girl who needs her millions. Yeah, it sounds to me like it's up to me fishy. Hey, Gina. What's the with you? Seen a ghost? No. Just an attractive man. Enjoying yourself, honey? Everything's just fine. I don't feel no pain at all. No pain at all. Excuse me? Oh, no. Oh, Gina, have you seen Monty? No. But he asked me to have dinner with him. And it looks you'll go hungry. Well, I haven't had any lunch. I've got a wonderful diet for you. Six meals a day and nothing in between. Pay the bill, honey, and we'll leave. Uh, I always pay by check. <laughs> Not a chance. This is a cash joint. After two, we better get home. No, I haven't got any home to go to. 
Now I have to sleep in the jalopy. I, I can't remember where I left it. It's at Monty's place. Come on. Nice guy, Monty. What's he feeling on? Oh, my God. Gave me a proper fright. Well, you finally got smashed up, eh? Yes, then we couldn't have gone out to stop hey, Excuse me, Mr. Albright? Yeah? Also known as Mr. Brown? What? I must ask you to come along with me, please. But he can't. He's got a date with me. I'm Detective Inspector Roberts of the Metropolitan Police. Charges have been laid against you in respect of a stolen car and of attempted murder. What about him? 